Hey folks, Waller D here. We're back for more Super Punch Out. We're going to continue Macho Max Reign of Terror through the boxing circuit. But first, replay value, time attack, and records view. Time attack is an exhibition mode where you can beat on old boxers, where you can try to strive for the best times. And as you can see, I've been making good use of it. Records view is pretty much straightforward. Best time, best score. Personal records, however, that's pretty new. Basically, you can check how many times you won and lost, and that will matter later on, I guess. Minor circuit is now major circuit. And Bob Charlie, are you serious, Nintendo? Yeah, this guy's a pretty great warm-up dummy. That's about it. Bob Charlie! Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Fight! And if you're thinking it, this guy reminds you of Gabby J, you probably might be right. But this guy is not Gabby J. This guy has hopped up on evasion, and he has a creature habit issue, where he basically will do this right, left, left, right, right, left. And that's pretty much how, all you need to know about Ga or this guy's in particular moveset. And as you can see, it's not working pretty well, so I really hope he mixes this up. Okay, this is different, I guess. Shuck and suck mode. Before we begin too much on it, you need to worry about this move. This move hurts like hell if you get hit, but you have two options. You already know those options. But shuck and suck mode is where he kind of starts being evasive and feigns his punches like an idiot, which doesn't seem to help. Uh, I mean, for one thing, it does probably possibly makes him less. Uh, chance of getting stunned, but at the same time, it doesn't seem to help the fact that he's quite open for a freaking uppercut or a hook. So, that's the end of Bob Charlie's career as a boxer, I would say, because, damn, that was pretty pathetic. Maybe you should consider, like, a name change, a profession change. It seems like everything would go well for him. So, we bid our Jamaican boxer adieu, and we're going to head on to better lands. Zelda, why the hell are you playing this game? Seriously. Dragon Chan. I like Dragon Chan because here's the reason why. He's the first boxer that actually is vaguely difficult. And another thing is, is that he does one thing quite different from everyone else. Cheating. Dragon Chan! Huh? Huh? First thing you should know about Dragon Chan, he likes to sidestep your punches before he attacks. However, there's ways to deal with that. Dodging and countering, it, as always. Or you could go with the counterpunch routine, which is much better in my opinion, because this is what happens when you hit him with enough force. He starts to wonder where the hell he is. So, introduce him with more punches to the face, or gut, or just knock him out instantly, however it works. And hooks are also pretty effective at countering his little sidestepping trick. So I guess we already figured that out. Oh, what the hell? Oh, dick! The hell? This is not K1, dude. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, shit, what now? Oh, wow. Oh, shit. So yeah, as you can see, Dragon Chan knows how to fuck you up if you are not careful. So don't try to counter the freaking turnbuckle kick of doom attack with an uppercut or something. It's not going to work. You duck that. And as for the kicks that he's going to probably throw at me a little bit later, I'm guessing. Yep, see? Uh, you just dodge the opposite side of where he's kicking. That is the only way you can dodge those. But uh, once you get those two attacks in mind, this guy's pretty much done at this point. See you later, Dragon Chan. You were a great fight, and I'm glad you reminded me of Bruce Lee, because that guy is awesome. The thing that bugs me a bit is that Dragon Chan has only been in two games, Super Punch-Out and Super Punch-Out, but the fact that this guy is one of the most interesting and iconic boxers in this game makes me wonder why Nintendo has not considered the possibility of reusing him. I don't know. You guys have to tell me this. Oh, God. This guy. Mass muscle. Ugh. I hate this guy for a number of reasons, because he really knocked the shit out of me when I first played this game. And this guy, his mask is very confusing. It makes me want to hit him in the face, but he is totally lying about that. Mask model. 
And the reason why that mask is very misleading, because left body blows is this guy's weakness. And you also want to watch out for his hooks, because you have to aim your punches well. Oh, what the hell did you just do? Tequila on my fucking eyes, dude. Not cool, not cool. So, keep a... Try to keep a good eye on how this guy moves when he spits in your freaking eyes, because that is how he's always gonna move. And I have to say, that is a really dirty tactic, dude. Is this what wrestling teaches you? To be a freaking inconsiderate prick to everyone? So just stay down for a moment. So yeah, this guy is also a cheater, and he knows how to cheat in a different way. Here's how to re here's how to punish that. Always go for the rapid punches when he does that, because that's what he deserves. Many punches in that fucking nose of his. So, once you get this guy's... Oh, great. Another cheating move? Jesus Christ. thought kicks were bad. This is worse. So, you really want to watch out for that freaking headbutt. There is a way to counter it, but I would highly suggest dodging. Like, nothing should happen other than dodging. Jesus. It, and you can't counter the freaking spit in the eye. That's... One of the first moves, second moves that you can't really counter. Along with the damn kick that I had in my face, Jesus. So, once you get Mass Muscle's cheating tactics out of his system, he's down for the count. Guess he's gonna have to find a chair to add to his repertoire, because certainly that's what he's doing right now as an organ. Thank goodness, Macho Mac, you're here to save the day, man. Bruce Wayne? So we have the champion, Mr. Sandman, and why I'm usually glad to see this guy, because he usually means I'm going to kick your ass. Here he is kind of disappointing, but he can still be tricky for the beginners and some seasoned players. And I'll tell you why. Mr. Sandman! Now here's the reason why Mr. Sandman is tricky. Mr. Sandman has this thing where he varies his punching speed. As you can see, he throws them out really quick at times, and other times he likes to hold off on it a bit, like right here. That's tricky as hell right there. I mean, that will catch some players off guard really fast. And he has the Midnight Sleeper, which is definitely not Dreamland Express. He just throws one uppercut for some goddamn reason. And you also want to keep in track of his quick stun recovery. And also these punches. One, two, a hundred. Yeah, you don't want to get hit by the hundred. You want to dodge out of that last jab. That will go through your defenses every time. But as you can see, he isn't too hard. If you guys played the original punch out, you could probably be laughing at this guy. Because this is disappointing Mr. Sam at best. I mean, I'm actually... I don't know, it just feels like he could be fighting me a lot harder than he is. So I suggest sticking to your hooks for quick hits, and if you have a chance to throw in an uppercut, that's awesome, because his left side of his jaw is kind of weak. And once you get to this part of the fight, this is where the awesomeness upgrades, because the Midnight Sleeper becomes Dreamland Express all of a sudden, where he actually throws three uppercuts, a little slowly, but it still works. It kind of reminds me back of those days where fighting Mr. Sandman was like a brick wall in a car. You're in the car at that time. But Mr. Sandman's down for the count, and I'm kind of dreaming this fight was a little bit harder, but I'm not going to complain. Mr. Sandman is a great challenge for beginners, and I can say he definitely threw me for a loop when I first fought him. Definitely enjoyed that part, too, because it's like, damn... How can I beat this guy? Oh, I'm supposed to pay attention. So Macho Mac has just destroyed the major circuit, and damn, first place is in a lot of areas. But, now that we're done with the major circuit, we need to prep up for the next and my favorite circuit of all, the world circuit. But, to recap on what we just did. While the boxers are definitely an upgrade from the minor circuit, these guys still have some glaring weaknesses. They still have instant KO versus knockout moves. Most of these boxers can get KO'd, which kind of sucks, because that means the fight just lasts like two seconds and you're done. And, uh, the thing is, is that these guys have moves that, once you know how to get out of the way, you're 
pretty much done, but they still are pretty dangerous. I mean, if you do not know how to deal with their moves, you're gonna get knocked out, and knocked out badly. Uh, but in this case, we're gonna be looking more forward to the future, because the world circuit is gonna be much more than this. This is gonna make this circuit look like crap, guys. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching, have a great day, and adios.